We are hitting the streets in Mobile this morning. We have a question for you surrounding the port city's history. Now, this one was a little tough. Local 15's Taryn Reed is with us and having this morning's trivia for us. We are hitting the streets of downtown Mobile to ask you one question. Do you know the oddest material ever used to successfully build a ship in Mobile? Um, shell, seashells? Do you know the oddest material ever used to build a ship in Mobile? Think something you think would sink. Lead? Well, what's your definition of oddest? Something that you think wouldn't float. Copper. So what was the oddest material ever used to build a ship in Mobile? Well, here's the answer. That oddest material is concrete. Most people don't realize concrete can float. And during World War I, when the ships were being made, there weren't enough steel, uh, beams, sheet steel, and there wasn't enough wood. So people had to begin to think about what can we do that works and they figured out a way to make the concrete float by running uh, hollow spots in the hull. The fact that the concrete was relatively inexpensive, they could mix it on site and at the time most of your war effort was really focusing around those raw materials like metal, like wood and concrete is man-made. Two ships were made that were successfully launched before the end of the war. So there you have it. We're tearing it up on the Gulf Coast, history style. I am Taryn Reed, Local 15 News. Tearing it up, Reed. Thank you, <laughs> Taryn. Did you get the right answer? Well, just in case you didn't, the History Museum Mobile offers free admission to get all your history lessons. You don't have to pay a dime. Just walk on in. We have posted a link to their website on our website, local15tv.com. Click on the Find It section.